So we're beginning in chapter 19, yes. and uh, 19 and verse 1, and he, mm -hmm. that is Jesus, mm -hmm. entered Jericho and was passing through. Yes. And there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and mm -hmm. was rich. And he was seeking to see who Jesus was. But on account of the crowd, he could not because he was a small of stature. <laughs> yeah. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. So he ran on ahead and climbed up a sycamore tree to see him, for he was about to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. <laughs> so he hurried and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all grumbled. <laughs> A lot of grumbling in this, in this book of Luke. Yeah, complaining. <laughs> So they all grumbled. Yeah. He was gone in to be the guest of a man who was a sinner. Mm. Mm. And Zacchaeus oh, stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. Mm. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, mm -hmm. since he also is a son of Abraham. Yes. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Isn't that something? Isn't that beautiful? Wow. So, it's yes. interesting. I don't know yeah. uh, if Jesus, he called him by name. I don't know that he'd ever seen him before. So, I don't know if that was someone had let him know about that or if uh, maybe it was just the Spirit of the Lord that gave him that insight. Jesus was uh, right. a, a prophet indeed and uh, the Spirit of the Lord was upon him. And mm -hmm. so, maybe he just knew that this dear fellow was... Zacchaeus, and he should yeah. dine with him that evening. Uh, okay. He repented. Didn't yes, he? back to our theme of repentance. Isn't right. that something? Right. Yeah. It's no good believing if yeah. you're not repenting. That's yeah. Mark 1, verse 1. Yeah. Repent and believe the gospel yes. of the kingdom. Yes. That's where it starts. Yes. I love it. The, it's uh, very lovely. But that is, I, I thought the same thing as mm. we were reading. Mm. Uh, his mm. repentance... His heart's desire was, was so good. Grace. He said, uh, yeah, if uh, I've given Behold, the Lord, uh, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if <laughs> I have defrauded anyone of anything, yeah. I restore it fourfold. Isn't that something? That's wonderful. Yeah. Genuine repentance. Yes. Absolutely. Well, this has been something of a theme, and Absolutely. it all focuses on Jesus and his ministry, this business of Absolutely. repentance. Yes, yeah, go uh, back to Hebrews 2 3. The, yes. Don't neglect so great a salvation, yes, yes. which was first, which had its beginning. Yes. The Greek is very straight there. It had its beginning. That's where you start. But yes. they don't. They start with the death of Jesus, yes. which is very important. I get well, that. But it's not the beginning of the gospel. <laughs> it's what, and I, yes. I love this. Uh, this man, even though he had erred in, in mm. his life's mm -hmm. conduct, we think, uh, yet... Jesus says he's also a son of Abraham. And he is he now also is, is now receives that salvation. Right. That yes, absolutely. Yeah. So not only was he physically a son, presumably by genealogy, but now he's a genuine yes. spiritual child of Abraham. Yeah. So that's the promise to Abraham and his seed that he would be heir of the kingdom. Yes. That's the statement that yeah. everybody needs to repeat all the time until they relearn what they didn't learn in church properly. Yeah, yeah good. So we're all children of Abraham by faith in Absolutely. Christ Jesus, the Messiah. Jesus. Without ethnic distinction. I love yeah. simplicity, don't you? I One do, group. Do. doesn't yeah. matter whether you're male or female. It's the same theology. doesn't matter whether your background is black, white, whatever color. Yes. One faith and one faith only. Yes. That's an easy idea, isn't it? It sure is. To get hold of. Yeah. Somehow human beings in the world of, of faith and religion are not happy with easy things. We want it to be complicated somehow. We, we, uh, but complicated is not better, actually. No, it's easy not. is best. <laughs> but that gave rise then to some people taking charge of others in a wrong way. Oh, yes. You know, we're the, we're the clergy. We're the ones who are trained. You idiots don't know anything. Yes. So you shut up, sit down, and listen to me. <laughs> this right. is a control thing. Yeah. Pay or, us to tell you. <laughs> you pay us oh, to tell right. you what you couldn't possibly know. Of course, there is a truth in that. We do need teachers. Yeah, of course. We need people right. who are skilled and scholarly. 
So yeah. there's a balance in it. There's a balance. Right. There's a balance there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if we don't have teachers who are utterly sincere and have humility, that's right. Then it's just as bad as, as not yeah, worse yeah. than ha not having teachers at all. I think sometimes. So, so when you say salvation has come today, if you're learned at all. You know that salvation is in three tenses of the verb. You were saved when you made your decision to believe the gospel of the kingdom. You're being saved, yes. and more especially, you're going to be saved if you survive spiritually till the end, which yes. is the parousia, right. the second coming of Jesus to rule the world, and you get to rule the world with him. I gave you the old bag. That's right. Yeah, that is that's beautiful. Yeah. And so the whole matter is set in motion. Yes. Ah, yes. Here and but. The, uh, mm -hmm. the ultimate fulfillment yes. Yes. Uh, of this mm -hmm. is resurrection, I think. At the Certainly. point at which this Certainly. mortal will put on immortality, and that, right. that is the culmination of something that was set in motion at the beginning of our faith. And it's culminated then in... in I like in, that. Uh, set in motion is a phrase. Eh? It's got the ball moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. But it's faithful then to say, well, the real point is going to heaven when you die. <laughs> Now you've just destroyed the story. You've made the Bible very difficult for yourself and everybody else who hears you. Verse 11, mm -hmm. As they heard these things, he proceeded to tell a parable. Because he was near Jerusalem, and because they supposed that the kingdom of God was to appear immediately. He said, therefore, A nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom, and then returned. Verse 13, Calling ten of his servants, he gave them ten minas, mm. and said to them, Engage in business until I come. Mm -hmm. But his citizens hated him, and sent a delegation after him, saying, We do not want this man to reign over us. <laughs> when he returned, having received the kingdom, yeah. he ordered these servants to whom he had given the money to be called to him, that he might know what they had gained by doing business. Yes. The first came before him and saying, Lord, your mina has made mm -hmm. ten minas more. <laughs> and he said to him, Well done, good servant, because you have been faithful in a very little, you shall have authority over ten cities. Verse 18, mm -hmm. And the second came saying, Lord, your mina has made five minas. Mm -hmm. And he said to him, And you are to be over five cities. Then another came saying, Lord, here is your mina, which I kept laid away in a handkerchief. <laughs> For I was afraid of you because you are a severe man. Yes. You take what you did not deposit and reap what you did not sow. Yeah. He said to him, I will condemn you with your own words, <laughs> you wicked servant. You knew I was a severe man, taking what I did not deposit and reaping what I did not sow. Why then did you not put my money in the bank? <laughs> and at my coming I might have collected it with mm. interest. Mm. And he said to those who stood by, Take the mina from him, and give it to the one who has the ten minas. Mm -hmm. And they said to him, Lord, he has ten minas. I tell you that to everyone who has, more will be given. Mm -hmm. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Mm -hmm. But as for these enemies of mine who did not want me to reign over them, Bring them here and slaughter them before me. Oh my goodness. That is worthy of comment, isn't it? I have to cite one lady theologian, a prominent lady theologian, who said, and I quote, We know that Jesus couldn't have said, verse 27. What she was saying was, her idea of Jesus doesn't allow her, allow Jesus to have said such an yes, awful right. thing. <laughs> Bring those in front of me, who do not want me to be king over them, and slaughter them oh, yes. in my yes. presence. Yes. Well, what if Jesus did say that? Yes. I think that he absolutely did. Would have, I could have, and did. That's absolutely. <laughs> yeah. This he, seems to make it a very a very critical issue we're dealing with. Yes. Which, there's nothing to absolutely. smile at or laugh at. So, it's yeah. interesting mm -hmm. that uh, yeah. we see here a picture of the second coming. Uh, he doesn't, this, this nobleman does not set up or establish his kingdom and then go away. Not at all. He actually goes away to receive a kingdom, then he comes home with that authority, has that, and then begins to, to reign, reign, as it were, yeah. yeah. Isn't that something? It's wonderful. I, I would beseech our audiences, you know, who may down the line be hearing this, 
Use this as your basis for the framework of your whole thinking. Yes. The yes. nobleman, of course, is the king, of King course. Jesus. Yes. And he's coming back to restore That's right. the kingdom to Israel, which Calvin hated in Acts 1 6. So watch out for any anti future kingdom people because yes. they haven't yes. got the story. That's right. Be careful then. Well, this, this story that Jesus is mm. giving them mm. is wonderful. Mm -hmm. But it betrays the idea yes. that he established his kingdom then. Uh, that just simply is not true. Yes. He goes away, yes. then comes back, and yes. meets and finds those that were his servants, yes. those who had been faithful and those who had not. It's, uh, it's very crystal clear. Also, they were approaching Jerusalem. That's a city. Oh, yes. You can go there. It's on the map. That's right. <laughs> And that's why they thought the kingdom was going to come. Why? Because the kingdom's capital was the was city the, was of Jerusalem. City where you go West. up. And whether yeah, you're coming south from Esau, yeah. you're always going up the hill. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? The yeah. Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, early in Luke, now again. Yes. And I think, to me, this once and for all establishes that for those who are determined mm -hmm. where Jesus established his kingdom there, yes. or the 17th chapter we were reading about yes, this yes, business, yes. They, as they have want to misuse the scripture yes. and say, the kingdom is in your heart or the kingdom is inside of you. Destroyed. Not exactly. No. This is mostly about you entering into the kingdom, not the kingdom entering into inside of you. And Good I point. think, uh, and this establishes very clearly here, that this fellow goes away and then receives the kingdom, the authority, the kingdom, Absolutely. and then comes back. And he's very tough when he comes back. Yes, he's he is. Ruler, but watch out. Yes, he I'm is. I'm going to slaughter you <laughs> in my presence. Yeah. So, I think uh, we would recommend all preachers to preach this parable very often. <laughs> yes. Until they're sure that everybody's got it. That's right. right. Until, until everyone understands it. it. Yes. The most accomplished fellow, yes. the most accomplished fellow, was obviously the one who had one and yes. ten. Yes. And then he was given ten more because yes. his capabilities were obvious. Yes. And, yes. Uh, and then the other fellow, the, the yes. runner-up, as it were, had one and made five. five. And still was in a he good did quite well, and very good. But the one fellow who didn't yeah. accomplish this work and uh, he was condemned yeah out of his own mouth i like the, the the legal approach here it's full of jury language isn't it yes it is child language that's judge right. language that's right out of your own mouth you what you just said listen to what you just said he said to the bad one you condemned yourself i didn't condemn you you just condemned yourself my good man come on think about that <laughs> yeah wonderful yeah. Verse 28, yes. so this is very appropriate, as you were saying. Yes. They were thinking the kingdom would be established immediately. It that means be. they realized it hadn't been established yet at the time they were at. Great lesson. But, uh, but now we have this, mm. uh, as it's called, the triumphal entry. Yes. This is a time when they might have thought, well, he's going to establish the kingdom now. But yes. no, he's going to go away first, That's right. receive authority and then come back right. and I establish the kingdom. So the early part of 19 precedes the later part. Right? Yes, indeed. To get the truth absolutely clear. Yeah. Then you go on to develop the triumphal ending, yeah, which was an event of then. Yeah. It wasn't, it's not an event of the future. That's right. It's a great event, but not, indeed, yeah. uh, the establishing yet of the kingdom of God. It's wonderful. Okay. Wonderful. Verse 28. Mm -hmm. And when he had said these things, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. When he drew near to Bethpage and Bethany at mm -hmm. the mount that is called Olivet, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village in front of you, where on entering you will find a colt tied, mm -hmm. on which no one has ever yet sat. Untie it and bring it here. Mm -hmm. If anyone asks you, Why are you untying it? You shall say this, The Lord has need of it. So those who were sent away and found it just as he had told them. Verse 33, and as they were untying the colt, its owner said to them, Why are you untying the colt? That's yeah, a good point. And they said, <laughs> The Lord has need of it. Yeah. And they brought it to Jesus, and throwing their cloaks on the colt, yeah. they set Jesus on it. Mm -hmm. And as he rode along, they spread their cloaks on the road. Mm -hmm. As he was drawing near, already on the way down the Mount of Olives, 
The whole multitude of his disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen. Mm -hmm. Saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Mm -hmm. And some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the very stones would cry out. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's, it's interesting that mm. everything seems to have yeah. geared up here at this point, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, Jesus is now yes. uh, coming into this entry into Jerusalem. Yes. It's a public entrance. Yes. It's very notable people. Yes. We, but uh, Jesus is is actually able to call this man uh, in the in the tree yeah. <laughs> by name and yeah. say, "We're going to die with you." Yeah. Jesus was operating, I think, at a tremendous level of spirit of God and, and power of God, man. doing these amazing yeah. as he's coming into really the end of the story, at least of yeah. his life. Then, yes, and. Uh, so yes. he's, he's saying, go into town, you'll find this cult. Surely all of these things are being revealed to him by the Spirit of God and giving right. him probably yeah. strength and courage as he moves yeah. toward yes. this, the end of his yes. life, the very difficult things yes. he was going to go through. He told the disciples earlier, the Son of Man will be taken yes. and horribly treated and then, yes. and then killed. Well, That's wonderful. I like to use the uh, geared up. The story is reaching a pitch of excitement. It is, yes. And when you're reading this as a Bible reader, you know, whoever you are, if you're not so excited about this, what would be the comparison? Americans are very excited about football matches. Yes, I've I mean, noticed the that. talk about the passion. <laughs> well, transfer that peak of geared up thrill yes. to this story, because this is the climax. It wasn't actually the time when the kingdom came, yes. but they're so thrilled about it. Uh, the passage in Mark, the parallel, of course, Mark 11.10, blessed, happy, how yes. marvelous is going to be yes. the coming kingdom of our father, David. If that isn't pure messianism, mm -hmm. I don't know what would be. So gear yourself to that. And then we see it in context again, the parable of the ten minas mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. this is to make clear before yeah. all this begins developing yeah. yes, at, yes. at breakneck speed, as we would yes, say. But the uh, but it's making clear. No, this isn't the time when I'm going to establish the kingdom. That's We're right. going in Jerusalem. It's going to be yes. a lot of amazing things yes. happening. But this is not yet the establishing no. of the kingdom of God. So not yet. Land. Isn't that wonderful? No. A pitch of excitement here, isn't it? It's, yes. it makes you almost breathless reading it. It's so exciting. Yeah. Yeah, wonderful. Verse 42, saying, Would that you, even you, yes. had known on this day the things that make for peace. Oh, wow. But now they are hidden from your eyes. Yes. For the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up a barricade around you and surround you and hem you in on every side and tear you down to the ground, you and your children within you. Mm. And they shall not leave one stone upon another in you because you do not know the time of your visitation. Isn't that wow. a wonderful change of emotion there? We went from thrill and excitement to him weeping. Yeah. The emotional impact of what he knew would happen to Jerusalem, yeah. incidentally in AD 70, yes. but that was, still wasn't the end. Yes. But what will yet happen in the Great Tribulation, mm -hmm. where God is going to have to wake up mm -hmm. present day Israel, what we call Jews, is speaking. There's going to be a terrible time of tribulation there, the great tribulation, immediately after which Jesus will come back. And he's so moved by all of that that he's weeping while they're rejoicing. Well, Isn't that powerful? Something. Mm -hmm. It could have been different for Jerusalem, couldn't it? It could have been. How often I would have gathered you, he said, you know. This I wanted a, a, a nice image from nature there, like, like a hen. Yes, yes. So you go inside a hen and watch what they do. That's what I want to do. This man is not an intellectual, boring chap, is he? No. This Jesus. Oh my goodness, no. Anything full but, of, yeah. Anything but. No. Full of emotion, because he knows the scriptures so well. He knows what's coming. So we know there's things coming. Oh, yeah. I think he's foreseeing that, that that would happen a few decades down the road. Yes. 
And yet, that's not the end. This is this thing. is still yeah. just foreshadowing a yet greater event great still event. to come. That's wonderful. Yeah. We'll stress that more in chapter 21, where he outlines the events of the second coming yes, yes. in greater detail. Yes. It's going to be fun, too. You know, I was saying there yes. on that, Anthony, the mm -hmm. verse 44, uh, you didn't know the time of your visitation. Had they recognized the coming of the Messiah to them, even on this day, had they had that city, had yes. that yes. nation, that people yes. recognized it? Could have been very different for them. Absolutely. But but it was not to be. Yeah. It's an interesting commentary on how stupid we are as a society, <laughs> right? We better look at ourselves and assume we're not very smart. <laughs> then we would say, "Oh God, give me understanding." Well, that's right. Rather yeah. than say, "Well, I've got all this made. I don't need any more." No, we're most likely just by being human, we're likely to get it wrong. And that has certainly happened. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Verse 45. Mm -hmm. And he entered the temple and began to drive out those who sold, mm -hmm. saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Mm -hmm. And he was teaching daily in the temple. Mm -hmm. The chief priests and scribes and the principal men of the people were seeking to destroy him. Oh, wow. But they did not find anything they could do, for all the people were hanging on his words. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. It, Luke has really captured the scene so well, has he not? So, yeah, there's the warning. They didn't listen. And so, referring again to our future, future to us in 2023, those Jews, a collective whole of them, not all of them, but a remnant, are mm -hmm. going to say, my goodness. Think what we did. We killed our own Messiah. Yes. yes. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> yeah. And God will have mercy on a remnant yet in yes, the future. Yes. So this is a pattern of events here that's going to be repeated yes. big time yes. in the future. Yes. At the future of Parousia, right. the Greek word for the that's second right. coming. Wow. Yes. I can see that Jesus is incensed. He's, yes. he's jealous yes. for God, we might say, his father, for because they've taken his house. Yes. And turned it into Damn. something yes. for money making. Commercial yeah. venture. It doesn't yeah. get any worse than yes. that, does it? My yeah. house will be a house of prayer, but yes. they turned it into something. But I see yes. Jesus' indignation. Oh yes. And yes. his his you know, it's kinda like David yes. when he came out to Goliath, he said, yes. How is it these people are doing this against our God? <laughs> so, and, and I think that's what Jesus is, oh, is doing here. It's certainly true. I, I like the way this gives us the personality of Jesus so clear, doesn't ah, it? Yes. You hear his words, you're, you're sensing, you've used the phrase, he doesn't pull any punches. Ah, yes, yes. He tells it like it is, yes. you know, whatever American good expression we can think of. This is a man to be reckoned with. The one thing you cannot do with Jesus is ignore him. <laughs> That's right. You better listen to You're going to be, you're gonna have to go one way or another. You better, you better right. listen to his words. We well, you know... Um, I, I really uh, like this chapter. Yes, I do. I do. Uh, it's it's so vivid, and you just Absolutely. Luke is is good at really painting word pictures oh, for us, isn't he? You can just visualize mm. Zacchaeus in that tree. You know where he, we yes. can visualize the story of that that fellow going away and yes. receiving the kingdom and returning. Oh to yes, us it's to, wonderful. You know, Jesus was amazing. At painting word pictures oh, for people, you could. I yes. would have loved to have heard him actually say and teach some of yes. these things in person. Yes. Well, you're true. getting pretty close to it by hearing Luke's. That's report. right. It this is the be next best it. thing. It's the it? next best thing. That's right. No doubt, in the future kingdom, there will be film yeah. of this. You That's know, right. the, the angels yeah. will have recorded all this. Yeah. We'll actually watch film of it. Yes. So we're seeing the verbal form here. Right. I would reckon. I used to say to the students, humorously, in the Bible college. I want you to preach this ten times every Sunday. Uh, yes. I really meant that. Mm -hmm. Until yes. your audience is so thrilled yes. with this story yes. and is ready to tell the whole world about it, yes. then you know you've prevailed. Until that happens, you haven't done your job. Yeah. And, uh, and this triumphal entry, oh. you know, doesn't yes. that portend we're gaining an insight into what the actual yes. Great entry when yes. the kingdom of God really is established. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What it would be like, but here these folks 
he had disciples, those who had been following, those who yes. knew of him, and those who were interested, yes. who were coming out in this, this great entry of Jesus yes. into Jerusalem, and yet this was not to be received by the leaders and those who were in control and, uh, were and those of curious, Jerusalem as a whole. Yeah, they were just incensed the more. Yes, of course, because their authority yeah. and, was being and, challenged. Yeah, and imagine the audacity of this man. He goes into the temple mm -hmm. and cleanses it out, throws out <laughs> the money people uh, tried to make yeah. a dollar, so to speak, make a lot yes. of dollars, I guess. Yes, make a lot of dollars. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> but all of this can only incense, I think, yes. those who were in leadership oh, and the, the Pharisees, the scribes, yes. the others who were, yes. they they hated him anyway. They, they were jealous him of him. One scripture says they were yeah. jealous of him. Well, they were about envious. to kill him in a, yeah. in a few days' time. Yeah. He's yeah. going to be dead, nailed to a cross. Yeah. Wow. What is that day going to be like when those Jewish people say, wow. What did we do? Even Paul is sorry. You know, he says, I'm an apostle, yeah. not worthy to be called an apostle because right. I persecuted the Christians. That's Can you right. imagine that? That's right. Wow. Amazing. I do like this, and of course it's a quote, but yeah. the uh, it is written, Jesus yes. says, yes. my house shall be a house of prayer, mm -hmm. but you've made it a den of robbers. Actually, you can kind of see this same sense of things in our greater Christianity today, yes. where that it becomes more about money yes. than about Horrible. prayers and genuine service to God, uh, but this was happening there in Jerusalem, yes, yes. and uh, yes. but we should be aware. This is still a lesson for us today. Oh, let our hearts be pure. Let yes. our, our yes. let us be focused yes. on. Prayers to God and yes. prayers for the benefit of the people and yes. uh, and to worship Absolutely. God in spirit and truth that Jesus well, exactly. said to the lady and that in the the text in Isaiah where God says, I hate your services. <laughs> yes. You're getting together in church. I hate the whole thing. I can't stand it. Your music is horrible. <laughs> if you haven't got the love of the truth mm. to be saved, exactly. you've got nothing. Exactly. That's the lesson here. Yeah. So we make the point that the Great Tribulation is in the future to us now. As it turns wait, out, I would second. say, Romans, uh, what the Romans did in AD 70, they might well have thought this is the second coming. As it turns out, it wasn't. Yes. So Romans chapter, uh, of the Roman thing in 70 AD was a very important event, but it wasn't the Great climax of the age. As we now know, that's why we're looking forward to the yet arrival of the kingdom. An even greater set of events. That greater set of events. Will, right. This will be the time in which that one will ha come yes. back having received yes. the kingdom, have received authority and yes. established that kingdom and deal with his service. So important. Tremendous. So we're important. still looking forward to that. It's great. Absolutely. If we're not, we're blinded. Our vision is all wrong. And without vision, it says in the Bible, people perish. Yes. So if yes. you haven't got the right vision of the coming kingdom, you're perishing. This is yes. a threatening text. Absolutely.